All right, here I am at the uh, at the Dead Sea. I just sat in there for about uh, 10 minutes and I didn't want to sit in there for too long uh, because uh, it burns. It really burns my psoriasis. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, I'm supposed to do this probably about four times a day for, you know, 15, 10 to 15 minutes each day. And uh, it's really nice. I mean, you just get back in there and you just lay back and you float. Um, you know, I'm not a very good swimmer, so uh, that's nice for me. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go out very deep because they say that you shouldn't uh, go deep out here because if you get any uh, of the water in your eyes, you're going you're gonna to panic from pain. Um, and you probably will end up dying. Drowning. So yeah, it's, it's awesome. It, it's, it's weird, like they, there's this uh, oily film on my body uh, and it, I don't know, and they got these water stations that you can rinse yourself off. Uh, I might have to go back and do it again, but um, but yeah, that's a, it's a weird, wild experience. Very cool and very strange. Um, but awesome. My legs on the first night after the peel. We already did this part right here. Back here, we still have a lot left. Back here, we've got some. And a little bit up front here. Now, I've been picking myself, you know, pretty much all day, and all of this clean part right here, most of this stuff, is for me just kind of picking while I was watching movies and whatnot. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can't find a few more. It's never been so easy to pull off these giant flakes uh, since the, the the peeling process that I went through today at the, uh, the at that clinic. So I'm enjoying that. You know, one big difference. Um, I'm not sure you guys can see it or notice it. Is that uh, the skin underneath is actually. It used to be really raised um, and kind of swollen, if you will. But right here, it's mostly like flush against the rest of the skin, which is definitely uh, a plus. Now, I told you guys I've been basically picking all day while not really paying attention uh, to it while watching movies. Well, I left everything on my floor that you guys can see how much skin I've been taking off. And I'm sorry for not filming it, but sometimes I just uh, get caught in my own mind and, and I don't even think about doing it. You know, I'm not sure if the um, the stuff they put on me is really any different from the oils and stuff that I've tried in the past. Uh, but, I mean, it does seem that it, uh, it works well. And, you know, over time, you know, since I've been on my, my medications and whatnot, I just kind of forgot that how well this stuff works. Because when I used to put on coconut oil, it used to come up fairly easily too. Not too many big flakes, but as you can see, I can kind of just grab it and pull at it a little bit and a lot of it comes off. Now here, if you look, uh, look around the edges, it's a little darker. Um, and that's, those are usually pretty thick skin patches. And when, uh, when I do pull at these ones, uh, before this, this whole peel process, these ones tended to bleed very easily. And, uh, and they were very hard to pull up. But right now, they're just coming up. 
And that is, uh, that's, that's nice. That's real nice. will get you up. It's the last thing I do. Come on. This one will probably end up bleeding a little bit. Now I've done this so much, I'm, it's hard to stay fully focused on it, so I'm just kind of just pulling off what I can, anything that comes off easily. Then I'm about to go take a, take a shower. So uh, the, the stuff that the docs gave me um, is uh, salicylic cream, which has, uh, he said, 10% salicylic acid in there. And I'm going to put that on 30 minutes before I go take that shower and then I'm going to go wash it off and then put on some other cream lotion that they gave me, which has vitamin E and, uh, and some other stuff on grapeseed oil, I think. Um, I'm only going to try to get the stuff that I can off and not spend too much time on getting every last bit off, so sorry to you people with OCD. But you know, this uh, this jet lag is kind of getting to me a little bit. And don't you worry, I will show you guys all that skin on the ground at the end of the video here. This stuff right here is probably not going to come off. So, let's leave that. Okay, now we're on my left leg, uh, the inner part. And here's some scales that I did not pick earlier. I mean, look at that. That's a huge chunk. And underneath it is this nice smooth skin that isn't crazy uh, inflamed. I love it. Feels great.
You notice how, like, I can get most of these areas cleaned off pretty damn well. Over here, it used to be um, the, uh, the very stubborn areas. Uh, it still is pretty stubborn, but able to get some of that skin off. I mean, at least I can kind of just peel it up with my nail, but it won't, it won't come off in one piece. But at least it comes up as I just kind of drag my nail on it. That's a hell of a relief because this stuff usually doesn't come off for anything, not even the knife. So I guess there is some merit in using these, uh, these products. There's the edge area, as I was saying before. Very thick skin and hard to remove. But in this case, coming up nicely. all the skin under my nails. Alright, gonna try to pick up the pace here because these are pretty stuck on. My neck is getting a little tired. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big one.
Alright, this stuff is kind of hard to take off. We'll skip that one. Here's the back of my right leg now. It's kind of the same. There were some big chunks that I got off earlier, but those are the extent of my efforts. Same thing on this right leg, it's pretty pretty stuck on there and hard to get off, so we'll see what happens with those later after I do my shower and treatments. I may or may not show that, but uh, you guys get the picture. Okay, there's my bed for reference, and there's all the skin. Let's sweep this up a little. Okay, I think this is probably the biggest skin pile that I've ever made in one sitting. There's my hand for reference. There's a whole, whole, whole bunch of big flakes in here. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Let's uh, go on to the next day, and uh, we'll catch up with you on tomorrow's video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and hit the little bell if you want to keep getting updates about my Dead Sea travels here. Catch you later.